Hey everyone, what's up? It's Ventus with Fire Emblem Heroes Arena. Every week I pick a bonus hero and I build a team around them. For this week it's Team Catria. Turn the sound down a bit. Alright, let us begin. Today let's focus on Soren and Catria, I think. Ah, damn it. This is... this might be a, a Soren kill, it depends. If she has Distant Counter, then it might be a problem. Oh, finally the bridge map appears. It's been a while, hello. Interesting mist. Ah, she has this encounter, so this is probably not going to be a Soren kill. Unless... Unless I weaken her with Black Knight. Because they don't double each other. And he has Breath of Life for whatever reason. Let's just kill Mist with Soren. Evil Soren. I just gotta smite him in range, right? Or I can draw back. Let's see. Either one works. We'll do it this way then. Be happy. Very well. You got it. Onward. Was that good? That that might not have been good. Evil Soren, killing mist. What are you doing? Are you ready to die? Evil Soren. Oh, that was painful. Let's see. Okay. My only drawback is on Soren. So there's no there's no safe way to kill Effie unless I attack and then kill immediately, basically. Patria can do that, right? No, nine damage. Very well. Oh, that's so close. I'd have to threaten defense, but I'm not in range to threaten defense. Is the mic screwed up again? I hope it's not. I didn't run that program today. It messes up my mic. It happens sometimes, it's just really irritating. Okay, Black Knight will catch up, but I can tank Black Knight somewhat using Catria. Because I took off that bad seal and put on the good seal, and now she can double Black Knight. But Quick Impulse means that Luna will go off the turn after with Vantage. But then I also have her. 42. 7 times 2. I can hit her for 7 times 2. What is Catria's damage with Luna anyway? I gotta figure this out now. Understood. 42 plus 8 is 50. 50 minus 35 is 15. 15 times 2 is 30. Luna damage is 17. It's 47 damage altogether. So Cordelia can finish him off. If I threaten defense, which I will, I don't need Cordelia's help, I think. But the problem is I'll be missing 4 attack if I use... Oh, let's just do it this way you got then. It. Wait, that doesn't actually work either. Because these are the two smites. I would have to... I would have to do some crazy shenanigans that I don't think actually work. I could always run away from him because once he loses Armor March, he'll lack his mobility. Prior mobility that he, ha that he used to have. The other thing is... Pivot. Will he pivot? No, he won't. He'll move up one, too. Huh. How do I keep Easy now. an attack on her while also putting him in range? I could draw back and then go there. But if I do that, Black Knight may attack first. No, Black Knight will attack first. Which ruins the entire strategy. I could smite him into range. That doesn't work either because I pull into here and then I have to pivot over. So there's no way to, to keep the buffs on. But I think, actually, with threatened defense, it's exact lethal, isn't it? It's 49 damage, right? Understood. Is it? No, it's not, because I lose weapon triangle. Bonus. This goes up to 45. So I'm missing 5 damage. The 5 damage I gain from Here I go. threatened defense will equalize with okay. the 6 damage, Easy technically. Now that I get from this.
Hmm. This complicates things. Yeah, I think I made a mistake by putting him there first turn. I think I'll just cut back. I think that's the safe play. Understood. I need to make sure that Soren doesn't die to Black Knight. Black Knight goes one attack, attack, attack next turn. Soren attacks from here. Wait, he goes one? One? One, two, and the next turn he goes one? Attack, attack, attack. Oh, I think I'm safe then, right? I mean, I could always pivot into Effie. That'd be kind of funny. I could also... Oh, what's my other play? I think mean, this is Let's fine. See. I will. I might have overthought this turn. Oh, I don't even know if Amelia dies. Do I deal 22 damage? Oh, he did go for a pivot play. Okay, well that complicates things. Very well. That is lethal. But that complicates things. He went for the pivot over on this side, going after Soren. Soren attacks. I smite Soren from here to here. Then he's safe. And then Black Knight goes up, pivots into Black Knight. He attacks. I hit back with Black Luna. Onward. 50. What's 80% of this? It's like 27? 27, 28? 15 plus 27 is 45. It is 45, right? 15, 27? No, 42. And then Cordelia finishes him off. Attack, attack, Black Luna. Black Luna will kill Cassia, I'm pretty sure. I think that is the play, though. This is the greed play. Let's see. I gotta do it. It's all about the greed right now. Be happy. Here I go. Easy now. Eleven? Give your all. Am I missing something? Well, the forty-two is right. Eleven. Understood. Oh, eleven. Mm hmm. Not fifteen. Okay. Very well. Vantage kills him if I do that. Okay. Oh, what the hell? I can't kill. Oh, this is bad. Oh god, Black Luna might just kill someone. Onward. Holy crap. Yeah, if I don't... Oh god. If I don't debuff him, I think it's just... Ogre. This is with threatened defense, and she I hits will. for that little damage. The other possibility is to attack Effie once. This will require a lot of kiting, and it is the bridge map, so this is going to be kind of hard. There's going to be a pivot at some point. Will Catchfria die? I need to make sure about this right now. 51 minus 10 is 41. 41 Understood. minus 28 is 13. And then Black Luna is how much damage? 23? 23 plus 13. If it's 14, I die. If it's 13, I live. Oh my god. Do I just wait until next turn then? Oh my god, this is scary. Luna is 14. Okay, Luna's 14. That's 50%. What is 30%? What is Moonbow damage? 8. Is it 9? Oh, it's 9. Oh, crap. So it's exact lethal. That's disgusting. Okay, so I have to debuff him then. So Soren has to debuff him then. Understood. Be happy. Understood. Oh wait, I don't die? Huh? 
Wait a second, I don't die? Am I just crazy? Did I totally miscalculate this? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Hold, on, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second here. Black Luna is 80%. Easy now. Okay, 10% is, is like 2.8, I guess. So it's, it's 4.6, which is like 4 or 5 damage. So it's like 24, 20, 23, 24, plus 13. You got it. Yeah. Am I just... I'm just trolling, huh? Easy now. I'm just trolling. Let's see this damage. It's 35. So it's 22 damage. Did I just totally miscalculate? I guess I did. Wait, 14 plus 8. Oh, 14 plus 8 is 22. 14 plus 9 is 23. What the hell? Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm just trolling, Let's I guess. See. I'm a troll. I am a troll. Okay. Uh, this will be a Soren kill, right? Understood. We. Okay. Yeah. I will. Ugh. Let me pull out the calculator. Did I? How did I miscalculate that so badly? I mean, it's only off by like what two damage? It's 22. 22 plus 13 is... Oh yeah, I am a troll. Okay, yeah, I am a troll. Let's see. I am a massive troll. Yeah. Needlessly complicated. But at least it worked out. The idea behind the, the, the turn, the theory of behind all the debuffs and positioning was correct. The calculation was completely wrong. Nice. Let's go round two. Hopefully not as ridiculous as round one. Ike, Ike, Ike. Will this be a Black Knight kill? He's already at 12 out of 15. But there are four leeway kills this week instead of three last time. Three was the exception. Three was kind of... Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not uneven skills for the enemy. The enemy. All right, how's this gonna work? This is gonna be a lot more straightforward, right? Ike attacks this, or Ike moves up one, two. Dance one, two, attack this tile. I could send Katria in. Katria will destroy Ike pretty badly. Luna is 16 damage. It is a double attack. She has increased defense, so he will be at 35 defense? So Luna is actually 17 damage. 17 damage. You got it. 17 Easy damage. Now. Oh, actually, if I ploy him, that'd be great. It kind of complicates it a bit, though. I think they will go left. No, actually, if Soren is here, how's this going to work? How do I do this by ploying him? This might be too complicated again. Why am I overthinking today so badly? Okay, anyway, uh, 50 damage minus 35 is 15 times 2, 30. 30 plus 17 is lethal by 2. Okay. So that much is clear, but I need to somehow put him 1, 2, put her 1, 2, 3, 4, attack this tile, one, into this tile. How do I do that? It's not possible, right? So I, I just can't get buffed. But if I don't get buffed, he doesn't die. Unless my calculations are wrong again, which could be the case. It might actually be the case. Is that a plus HP Ike? Jeez. Plus HP minus res, I think? Huh. That's annoying. How do I get to this tile? This tile. Draw back. Smite. Walk up works. But I can't draw back unless I break this tile. But the only way to break this tile is to attack it. I guess I won't ploy him. It doesn't really matter. The ploy is just... Yeah, it's too much effort. 
So let's just walk up Smite. Easy now. Is it? Walk up one, two, yeah. You got it. I will. Understood. Let's see. Let's just do this. Make Roy go left. Oh, actually, Ike might go left now. Oh, crap. Ah. Lag. Damn, that was some crazy lag. Okay. So Roy walks into Catria and dies, right? But if he attacks, he doesn't get doubled. I have to attack into him to double him, because he has steady blow. Hmm. But Ninian is out of range now for good. I want to make some crazy plays. I still haven't done a proper smite teleport. Sounds like a league jargon. Smite teleport. I'm gonna run smite teleport. It's like Master Yi jungle. Attack this tile. Smite away. Roy walks up. Doesn't kill himself. Wings of Mercy? No. Escape route. I think it's fine. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Ike goes 1 2 dance, 1 2 attack this tile. Which is obviously bad. But he won't be able to attack Catria. Ike goes 1 2 dance, 1 2. Ike attacks. This Ike attacks Catria. That's actually not that bad. But the Fury Ticks I need to consider. So 1 Fury Tick with 48 damage minus Easy. 9 is 39. 39 damage minus 28 is 11 plus 4. 15 damage taken. Ike is 48. Ike actually dies to Luna now, I think, because he doesn't have buff increase. Uh, 48 minus 9 is 39. Oh, it's also the same damage. 39 minus 28 is 11. So 11 and 15. 15, 15, 30 damage. So she'll be down to 7 HP. Escape route range. Very well. You got it. I'm going to leave that tile there. Be happy. Let's hope this is a correct calculation. Here I go. Hmm. So what now? Understood. I guess I messed that up. What can I do here? What can I do? Who says that? Oh, Azura says that. Oh, wow. Soren actually would kill Ike. Except he dies. Because he doesn't kill Ike. Today is like super complicated day. Easy That's now. lethal. He walks up 1 2 or 1 2 attack. Dance 1 2 attack this tile. Soren's actually safe then. Hmm. If. He goes 1 2. Oh, he will go 1 2. 1 2 dance, 1 2. Catra dies. So, the safest thing to do here is to get out of range if possible. Is that even possible? Ike wants to go towards Catria. So, Ike goes 1 2 attack this tile. If I hide Catria there, dance attack, she dies. So, needs, she needs to go this way for sure. What is the other issue. If I goes 1-2, dance, 1-2, attack this tile. So Ike is never in Soren's range if I stay there. Smite won't save. Wings of Mercy's not in range. I think Cordelia will die. So I need to do... You got it. I think I need to do some weird shenanigans. I mean, let me see if this works. So Catchray goes here, stay safe. Black Knight pivots in. Oh, but if he pivots in, Ike will attack him. Then he gets two kills. No, Ike is Swordbreaker, so Ike doubles me. Onward. He also heavy blades me. Understood. So he's gonna have Ether next turn. No advantage though, so that's not too bad. No, it is bad because he gets a dance afterwards and then I die. I think I set myself up for disaster, didn't I? If I attack from this tile, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, attack. I will. 
Problem is her defense is so damn low. She has 52 HP, 53 attack. So I this like basically always kills Cordelia. I guess I guess turn one I really screwed up because I put Soren left. That ruined my entire strategy and positioning. Okay, let's do it this way then. I'm not sure if this will work. But if my calculations are right, I have one HP left on Cordelia. I will. Onward. Be happy. Jeez. Soren Let's walks see. up. This is out of Ike's range. Then smite. Easy now. And I should have one HP left. And then this like doesn't get a dance. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I live to fight another day. Okay. Understood. This like doesn't die because I don't have buffs or threaten attack. So I need to attack okay. like this. He kills me. Wow, he actually kills me. Very well. 26 damage. Soren dies to Ike as well. I will. But I'm in escape route range. What is my only option against this? You got it. So she goes into the corner. Soren goes one. Two, three with draw back. Ike is still in range, unfortunately. If Katria attacks, if Katria and Ike engage with each other, one, two, no dance. Smite? Sora needs to be in the corner, so that doesn't work. Is is it kill Ninian then? Wow, I cornered myself really hard and I can't kill now. Wow, I screwed this up so badly. Holy crap. Easy now. Okay, Katria attacks. You got it. She's in Wings of Mercy range. I kill Ike, presumably. Onward. 50 is 60. 25 damage times 2. Attack, retaliate, attack. Irvin doesn't go off. 3 cooldown ether? Jeez. Attack, it goes down to 1. Attack, ether doesn't go off. Damage delta is like zero, I guess. It's nearly zero. It's minus ten. Here I go. Minus ten puts it at 43. 43 minus Understood. eight. Eight damage taken. Ninian won't double. Is there any debuff? No. So that is the correct option, I think. Black Knight here blocks Catcher from dying to Ike or uh what's her face? Ninian. Yeah, that is the option then. Easy now. Holy crap. Here I go. Well, that was a bit crazy, yeah. huh? Uh, yeah. That was a little bit crazy. Here I go. And you have two HP left. Okay. I'm okay with that. Right, he gets plus four defense. Per attack. He doesn't run Vantage or Distant Counter, so this is fine. Everything's fine here. Let's see. Soren kills Ike. Huh. Evil Soren. He's evil today. Okay. Teleport kill will get me yeah. killed, so let's not do that. You are mine! What a day. It's not over yet, too. Will you survive? Yes, she will. Okay. Oh, Soren can't get this kill. Oh wow. Understood. Oh, wait a second. Hey, take a look at this. I will. Onward. It worked! It it kinda counts. I guess. It brings them to safety and then Soren can kill Ninian next okay. turn. Unless that happens, okay, okay. No, I can still do it. Be happy. 
You got it. Oh my god. Well. I love this team. Soren got two kills. Cordelia got one kill. Black Knight got. Catria got. Oh, what the hell? Wait. Soren got Ike and Ninian. Who was the last one? Oh, it was Roy, wasn't it? So Cordelia got Roy and Ike. Soren got Ike and Ninian. That's what it was. Damn, Catria needs kills now, I think. It's getting to that point. No teleport kills. That's it. Okay. Wow, today's a really long day. That score was horrendous. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, this is a rare one. Hmm. God damn it. 38 speed. Okay, I just have to kill with Cordelia. There's no other way. She'll go down this way, luckily. He'll go down that way, too. Not luckily. Reposition. So I need to kill Roy? It's not possible, is it? Unless I double attack. If I don't kill Roy, he's gonna kill me. If I don't kill Lin, she's gonna kill me. What other option is there? Wow. Look at those stats, though. Those are pretty nice stats, aside from her attack, I guess. What do you think about it? Plus six. Oh my god, you must really like Selena. Yeah, when you think about it, plus six with Fury? Her attack is so garbage, but her other stats are great. That's just kind of how she works, I guess. You gotta watch out for the ranged dancer, too, because ranged dancers go second. So she goes 1 2, dance, 1 2. Or he goes 1 2, 3, dance. I mean, I guess dancers go second anyway. No, actually, no, 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 no. If, if he was melee, then he would go 1 2, and then Roy moves afterwards and repositions him or something if I'm in range. So, because he's ranged, he goes... He has last priority, essentially. Shigure and Lin, final priority. Which means that if Roy goes 1-2, he goes dance. 1-2-3, attack this tile. Oh my god, you wanna do that? You wanna do that? Fine. Let's do it then. Let's do it then. I'm okay with that. Because you can't double me anyway. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Oh, God, 46 speed. Okay, then. Easy now. Uh. Jeez. That damage, though. Whoa. Okay, let's not do that. Lin wants Soren. Roy wants Soren. This complicates things. What are my options? I can force them to reposition spam if let's say Lin or let's say Roy goes one, two, three. He's he has four effective range. One, two, three, attack. If I have a unit here, Lin will draw back and get a dance. So then he goes from here to here, Lin goes from here to here, dance, one, two, three, four, five, attack this tile. So really it doesn't matter. Actually that's probably better. So I need to have a, a unit there. Lin walks up. Then I can pivot into range. Or use one of these two units. His dance will not be in range anymore. Understood. Let's hope my calculations are right. If they're wrong, then I'm so screwed. Like beyond screwed. Be happy. Very well. Roy moves. Draw back, dance. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine then. I will. Because now he loses his buffs. So Cordelia does well here. Or, uh, Catria. So I can pivot into range by using drawback. He'll have 40, 40 speed. He does double me, doesn't he? No, he doesn't go. because I have honed speed on. Okay. 50 attack. He doesn't have... Oh, he still has Blazing Durandal, though. That's the Heavy Blade. This is Heavy Blade. So 50 attack versus 50 attack is actually neutral. No Heavy Blade. No Gale Force. No double. 
I guess that's the most important thing. 50 minus 41 is 9. 9 times 1. Strike back for 25 damage. She goes 1, 2. Dance is not in range. It really doesn't matter who I use, huh? Does it? Because she doesn't get double. She has for 50 minus... They hit for the same damage, these two. It's a bit unfortunate. But I think it's fine. I think it's fine. 50 minus... You got it. 10 is 40. 12 damage taken. 12 plus 4, 16 damage. Not in Wings of Mercy range, right? 16 damage is not enough. Yeah, let's, let's just do okay. this. Easy now. Here I go. It makes Shigure go left. Almost Wings of Mercy. So now she wants to go down 1-2 against one of these two units. It's probably going to be Sorin. Understood. It could be Black Knight because of effective damage, well. but I think it's Sorin. Although she doesn't run Triangle Adept. Let's see. If she goes 1-2, there's still no dance. Shigure wants to go left, so I can just leave him there. This is a catch right kill. And this puts her in Wings of Mercy and Escape Route range. Onward. What now? Okay. Very well. I think that's right. She should go this way. And he's going this way. You got it. Now the problem is oh. I can actually kill him with Black Knight. I don't want to get a kill with Black Knight, though. That's the problem. Don't want that to happen. But, uh... Hmm. One, two. One, two, attack. He goes down still. Who gets this kill? Soren? Yeah, Soren gets this kill. That's a bit complicated, though. This positioning. I want Soren to tank up his attack. Oh, of course. Understood. Okay. I could just do that. That works out. Ha! You thought I was on the right side of the bridge? Think again. Soren is a brilliant tactician. Out of my way. What a brilliant tactician, right? And now what? Ah, it doesn't really matter now, huh? Be happy. Here I go. We're in fun zone now. She's gonna go this way. Oh, really? Let's see. Huh. You got it. Okay. If I attack her, she goes down to two one. And then she attacks me, she goes down to zero, and then I attack her back with Luna and she dies. But I can't win the trade here because I'll die prior to that. So I should do this. Oh, this always happens. I always see a Selena when I'm using Cordelia. Heartbreak. Easy now. Very well. No vantage, right? It's desperation, okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's just do this. <gasps> Got it. Oh, she's got Fury too, right? Okay. Technically Fury three. Ugh. You are mine. Understood. Ah, teleport kill. Cheesy one, but still a teleport kill. So Catrick got two kills. Cordelia got Lynn. Soren got two kills. Black Knight is still sitting at 12. Nice. Teleport kill one? It was only one, right? The other one was a smite kill. I probably should have done smite kill. Lin plus one. No Reinhardts today. Interesting. No Reinhardt or Hector. That was fun, though. That was a fun one. Was there a Hector? There was, right? Did I tally it? I can't remember now. No, it was Amelia. It was Amelia Black Knight. Okay, yeah, yeah I remember now. Amelia Black Knight, Effie, and Mist. <laughs> for whatever reason. Yeah, today was a long day. 
Fun though, fun though. Lots of, lots of strategy involved. Alright, that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Fire Emblem Heroes. Have a nice day!